been about a day. I think I'm going to go and check um, out my comments in this recent video here. What's this? Get your stress so high so she can take care of you? Wait a second. You mean to tell me that she would take care of me? Oh fuck, I need to make that happen now. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this. Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Kitsubaka here and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be Shoes Root today. Um, so, yeah, as you can tell probably by that little intro thingy, we're going to try to get a stress uh, above 50, I think is what the person had replied to me when I asked if this can actually happen, which it can happen. We're going to get a stress above 50 in this episode. Right now it's at 3. We're going to get Shoe to take care of us because we need to be dealt with so you know tonight all we're gonna do is call shoe all right let's call shoe let's call shoe check out what's going on spent the rest of the day talking to shoe i could be all over getting strong it's amazing it's amazing amazing so this is com i was having complications but then i remembered this from uh Cho toshan's route which i've recorded already um where this guy he's offering you a pill and yeah we're gonna uh, I'm not going to read it because he's just talking about it. So, basically, we just need to take the medicine, see how it goes. It's going to bring our stress up by 30, so it's going to, you know, it's going to be, uh... It's going to be pretty good because it's going to bring us our stress up and we're going to take the job. And we also get 10,000 yen with it. Why the hell not? Because I just bought a shower. So, anyways, we're taking the pill and our stress is going to increase by 30 because why the hell not? And we will get up there as fast as we can. I think, yeah, the placebo effect, blah, 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 nothing weird, it's just an empty pill, and now he has a huge stress of 30, yeah, <laughs> there we go, we only need five more stress, guys, <laughs> and then we're perfectly fine, which we can get very shortly, that was easy, this is easy, alright, so we got some money there, I just spent a bunch of money, because I just got the shower thing, so I can sing inside of the shower, so I can bring up my shower, not my shower, so I can bring up my, um, so, yeah, so I can bring up my shit. Um, I'm going to bring up my singing a little bit. So I'm going to save real quick. I hope that the taking a shower doesn't take away. Doesn't take away. Oh, shit. I thought that said the stress decrease because I don't know. You know, showers make me unstressed. No, okay, good. Stress is still the same. We're doing good still in classes. Why the fuck not? So I'm not going to complain about that. Um, we got a... Thing coming up shortly. Um, Shoe right here is gonna be in the bookstore. How you doing, Shoe? What are you doing, buddy? Alright, we're gonna spend some time with Shoe. Perfect. And yeah. So I think our stress is 49 last time I checked, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, just one more and then it will be all good. Now we're gonna go to sleep. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, we're gonna work to get my singing up again because I feel as if something is gonna require a lot of singing effort and I'm not going to have it. So we're going to sing again. Again, I'm gonna save because I saved so freaking much in visual novels with the. Uh, because I've learned my lesson playing a lot of visual novels. I save like a fucking shit ton because I don't like bad endings. You can't blame me. Okay, so our stress is now 53, so we're gonna go talk to Shu. We're stressed the hell out. Um, he's gonna take care of us. I don't know. <laughs> How is he gonna take care of us at a restaurant, though? <laughs> How is he gonna take care of us at a restaurant? Is that possible? I don't know. Of course not. <laughs> Why would you? I mean, I know there's a crap ton of ways to get down my stress, so I'm not too worried on anything if uh, something messes up, but, you know, we'll be fine. So we're going to try to get our stress up even freaking more, because nothing happened there. Uh, singing should be good. Let's work on characterization up in here, just like this. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Characterization increased by two. Let us go. Alright, so it's a Sunday, which means we got going... Oh. Never mind, it's an UG. Somehow my body feels especially heavy today. I can't get my body up. On top of that, my head really hurts. Still, I have to go VA school or Tochan will chew me out. Uh, it's no good. I don't even have stamina to get up. I need to contact Tochan and inform him that I can't attend VA class due to the sickness and not because I'm being lazy. Let's see, where's my phone? 
With a lot of effort, I finally managed to locate my phone. Um, Tochan's number. We're gonna call Shu instead. Hello, Tochan. I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, I can't come to VA <laughs> class today. I'm not slacking off, I swear. My head just feels a bit dizzy. <laughs> well, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> That awkward moment, <laughs> that awkward moment where you're trying to call your boss, but instead you call your boyfriend, <laughs> and you just say, nah, I can't make it into work today because, like, I'm sick. <laughs> Before I realize it, my mind is blacked out, and I've ventured into the dream world, leaving the call still on. This makes me remember how I used to get sick a lot when I was a kid. Right, at that time, my mom was the one who took care of me before she died, that is. Oh. This has made me sad. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I can hear some voices. I just hear walking. Why does it feel like someone is here? Nah, it's probably just my imagination. As I think that, suddenly... Whoa, it's cold! Something cold was placed on my forehead. Ah. Hmm? Is this shoe? <laughs> my eyesight is not fully clear, so I need to squint my eyes a little. He just nods. Only shoe will silently nod like that. Why are you here? You said your head was dizzy. Huh? When did I say that? This morning. This morning? Nas, you called me. This morning? What did I do again? <laughs> I think I called Tochan this morning. Wait, how did I end up calling Shu instead? I try to get up, but my head feels dizzy, so I can't move an inch. You should go to sleep. Your fever is almost 40 degrees. Really? No wonder I'm feeling so dizzy. Ugh. I guess it's because I stayed up late last night while being full on <laughs> What the hell? I'm still a bit dizzy, but I somehow managed to say those words out. Hey, at least say something at the comeback. You should go to sleep now. I'll nurse you, huh? You will? You took care of me when I was sick once. I need to be paid a favor. Damn right you do. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks, you. I love you. <laughs> he, does, he really doesn't need to do that, though I'd really appreciate it. Being alone when you're sick isn't a really nice thing to experience. I can only mimic what you did. I can only mimic what you did for me, though. <laughs> it's okay. I'm already feeling better with you just being here with me. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting sleepy again. You should go to sleep. Hey, won't you pat my head until I fall asleep? Please? Nods. Shoe pats my head gently. His gentle movement makes me feel even stupier. Stupier? <laughs> stupier? What type of word is stupier? No, it makes me feel sleepier. Soon after, I slowly drift into the dream world. Oh, he's already asleep. He looks so cute when he's sleeping. We've already clarified this, Shoe, but thanks for the other clarification. Da, da, da. Somehow I can smell something delicious. Come to think of it, I haven't eaten anything since last night. Have I begun to hallucinate due to my hungriness? Definitely what's going on. It smells delicious. Oh? You still here, Shu? <laughs> yes. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. It's all thanks to you. I didn't really do anything. Now your gentle head pads made me sleep even better than usual. Anyways, I smell something delicious. I made porridge. Whoa, you made a shoe? I'm not sure if I did it right, though. I want to try it out, please. Yes. I'm just going to say yes. Shu brings a bowl of porridge to me. From the look of it, it's just instant porridge. I'm hungry enough to not care about that, though. Alright, I'm digging in. Oh, wait. Why don't you feed me the porridge? <laughs> Why? Well, I want you to. <laughs> My character becomes so needy when he's feeling uh, stressed out and sick, guys. Come on, feed me. At times like this, I want to get spoiled. Yes. I'm not even going to say nods. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> Hooray, say ah. Poof. Hearing. <laughs> she say something like say ah with a straight face is too funny. I can't hold my laughter back. Huh? He seems genuinely confused with my sudden laughter. Nothing. Say ah. <laughs> the time I proceed to open my mouth waiting for Shu to put the spoon in my mouth. Yum, it's delicious. I'm glad to hear that. It's even more delicious because she was feeding me. I'm sh it sure feels good to get spoiled by him. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. I'll go back now. Eh, already? I still want to be with Shu more. Yes, my deadline is today. What, really? His deadline is today and he still took some time off of his busy schedule just to nurse me back to health? Thanks a lot, Shu. See you. Yeah. I return back to my bed. Whew, I really didn't expect you to come, but I'm really glad he did. When you're sick, you start to get all emo inside. 
This is too dark. <laughs> we're gonna start playing like some emo music. We're gonna start playing like we're gonna start pay playing like some some first uh, from first to last because uh, of our emo ness. We're gonna play some of the the used. <laughs> <coughs> Having someone beside you in the hard time is already enough to make you feel better. I'm really glad he came. With the that thought in my mind, I soon fall asleep once again. It was a Sunday. There is no visual voice acting school. All right, I'm all cured now. It's all thanks to Shu for nursing me patiently. Hmm? A new message? Cured? Hope you're all cured now. If not, give me another call, okay? Weird face. B. Cool. I will, Shu. Thank you. I'm all good, though. He he he's so kind. Does that mean my stress is now... Hey! Thanks, Shu! Thank you. Also, thank you to the person who commented telling me about this little scene here. Another new member has joined the agency. Who could it be? Wow, I wonder who it will be. I already know who it is. I already, I already got to this part in Tochan's route, I think. Where's the fresh meat? Calm down. Don't run around in the agency. Anyways, we got a new recruit. He hasn't arrived yet. He comes late for his first day. Jeez, he sure is cheeky for a newcomer. <sighs> you out of all people don't deserve to say that. Well, since he hasn't arrived, why don't you go to VA school for now? Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> and I finally had the opportunity to legally skip the class. Seto. Okay, okay, I'm going there right away. Please stop nagging me. Alright, time to go. This is not the place. I, I, it's Shiba. Of course it's Shiba. Why wouldn't it be Shiba? He's the only other character in the game, isn't he? Alright, it's Shiba. What's up, Shiba? How you doing? Oi, Shiba. What are you doing here? Oh, my save? Yeah. What? I'm not your savior. Don't try to say I'm your savior. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? This bad boy right here, he gonna come and destroy your face if you call me your savior. Whenever I encounter him, he's always lost. Please show this lost lamb the right way. Jeez, fine. Show me the address. Oh, yeah, you're so reliable. Here it is. Shiba proceeds to hand me a piece of paper containing the said address. Hmm. I quickly scan through the piece of paper. Wait. The address, isn't it? This is my agency's address. So the new recruit is Shiba. Of course it's Shiba. Why wouldn't it? Shiba. Oh, you're finally here. Ah, the air conditioner is so cool. Phew. The weather outside was just so hot, you know. Ah, nice to meet you, Director San. I'm Shiba Vayotara. Um, please kindly take care of me. Uh, sure. Nice to meet you, too. He sure is a cheerful, cheerful one. He's jumpy all the time, exactly like the dog he is. Yeah, now that you say that, he sure resembles a big puppy. Wait, why are you here, too, Seto? Why don't you go into VA school? I escorted this lost lamb here. Oh, so he was lost. Yes, I was lost for two hours already. Jesus Christ, Shiba, you suck. If I hadn't have been there, he would have been lost until nighttime. It was really terrible, sir. Whimpers. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. But this agency is located in the main street, isn't it? It shouldn't be that hard to locate. But he still gets lost, even if the agency is right in front of his house. Huh. I right, you know me so well. Yeah, I do. You'll get lost a lot. I don't think I can keep up with this conversation any longer. Uh, he joined the agency, huh? It's going to be fun having Shiba around the agency. Not really. It's not going to be important to us because, well, we're not doing Shiba's route, so we're not going to see Shiba. I'm just fucking saying. Monday. Shu, in, up in his mansion. Like, what's up? What's up, squad? How you doing? Uh, hey, what's up, Shu? How do you do? Let's spend some time with you. Ha <laughs> ha. And we're talking, talking, talking. Love has gotten stronger. You know it has. And an event took place. Ding dong. Hmm? Is it Kawa-chan again? He's been coming here a lot recently. I wonder why. Anyways, let me get off. I'm ready to open the door. Like before, I'm currently sitting on top of Shu's lap. I don't get why he likes his position so much. No. And as usual, he refuses to let me go. Jeez. Okay, then let me the remote control thingy. I want to try opening the door with it. And he nods. Giving me the remote control he used to open the door. Woohoo! Let's see. Which button should I press? That one. Okay, then let's try pressing it. I pressed the button with anticipation. Before long, the door is opened automatically. Woo! Awesome! From outside the room, Kawachan pops in. Hello there! Sup, Kawachan? Why are you here today? Is today a deadline day? No, no, that's not it. Actually, someone wants to see you. He wants to see me. Me? Right, at that moment, someone suddenly appears behind Kawachan's back. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Ah, how are you doing, Shu? Are you doing well? Yes. Hello there. This guy, he really gives off a Yakuza vibe. Or is he actually one? I mean, he does look like a Yakuza. <laughs> he looks like he can kill me with, like, one singular punch, you know? But Shu looks like he knows him, so he shouldn't be a bad person, right? 
I better watch what I say in front of him. So you are Seto, is that right? Um, yeah. Step outside. We need to have a talk. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, um, I think this is the end of the shoes route where we get assassinated. Eh? But I don't think we need to talk about anything. But I don't have the courage to reject him, so yes, sir. Good, now follow me. Where is he taking me? This is a, just a random alleyway. This isn't safe. I guess this place is alright. Alright, let's get straight to the business. I don't have any money to extort, sir. Huh? Who the heck wants to extort you? So now you're gonna kidnap me and sell my organs? Of course not. Who do you think I am? I'm a member of the Yakuza? <laughs> no dumbass. Jeez, I don't get why you'd have such a low opinion on me. I'm not gonna. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna pretend. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to speak that. That's my name. Eh? Nakane. That's Shu's family name, isn't it? Then you are. Yeah, I'm his. You're Shu's father, aren't you? <laughs> father? Nice to meet you, daddy. <laughs> Dumbass! Ick, did I say something wrong? I'm not so old to have a kid his age, but I think you look old enough to be Shu's dad. Hmm, if you're not Shu's father, then who are you, his grandfather? I'm his uncle, damn it! Ick, don't get angry with me. <laughs> Do I really look that old? Now, now, don't get so disheartened by your old face. You were the one who made me feel this way in the first place. Whoops, sorry. <sighs> Anyway, I heard from the, my dear Taro-chan that you are dating my cute nephew, is that right? Yeah, definitely. By Taro-chan, he means Kaba-chan, right? That's his first name after all. Yeah, I'm dating a cute nephew. I see. Think that precious cutie had grown up so much to be dating someone. He grows up too fast. Uh, he's totally behaving like a dotting dad who's marrying off his daughter. Shu has always been expressionless since he was a kid that often gave got him into trouble. Oh, what's this sudden backstory? He's always been misunderstood by people and has never been close to anyone. He doesn't even have a single friend. Not a single one? Nope, not a single one. Or at least not a single true one. There were a lot of people who were trying to get close to him just to take advantage of his money and fame. What? How dare they? Right? The nerve of them. I chase them all away, of course. Can't let vermin like that get close to my lovely ma nephew. Ooh, nice going! But maybe I went overboard. Maybe it's my overprotective nature that caused him to be so reclusive. No, you're doing a great job. Really? Yeah, thank you for caring for Shu all this time. Huh? Why the hell are you thanking me? You're not in the position to do so. But I'm his cute lover. Well, I'm his uncle. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and since I'm the one who's closer to him, I should be the one to thank you for taking care of him instead. Oh, you want to thank me? You don't have to, but you're welcome. Wait, that wasn't it. Why am I thanking you? You haven't done anything to be thanked for. You you just, uh, <laughs> one time you want me to thank, <laughs> you want to thank me, and the next time you don't want to, please make up your mind. <laughs> Stop talking with you is such a pain. I'm often told that. Anyways, thank you for going through such trouble to tell me about Shu's past, huh? What are you talking about? We well, suddenly came here purposely to tell me you more about Shu, right? It's very kind of you. You said I was coming all the way to let you know more about my precious nephew. Then what do you want? Do you want my money? Are you part of the Yakuza? Yakuza? <laughs> are you going to take my money or what? It's not, then why? It was only a prelude for my true intention of being here. Eh? That's right, my true intention of being here is to threaten you! Threaten? Say no to violence, please. You're not getting close to him just to take advantage of his fame or his money, are you? No, no, I'm not, I swear. Well, good, because if you are, I'm gonna end you right here and right now. Phew. Still, you're not off, get off the hook. I'm not? If you ever make my precious nephew cry, I'll kill you with my own hands. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Your voice is so weak, I can't hear you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm back, finally. What were you guys talking about? No biggie, we're just having a peaceful chat with him, right? Eh? It was anything but peaceful, right? It, yes, sir. He's scary. Anyways, I guess my business here is all done. Um, can I go back now then? Oh, thanks for escorting me here, Tower Time. That's very kind of you. Eh? Anyways, what do you say we go back together? P Please at least spare my house. What? And Kawachan runs as fast as the wind. <laughs> he ran away again from me. What did I do wrong, Tarot-chan? I think he's just scared of you. Come to think of it, just what is the relationship between these two? <sighs> I just have to go back by myself, I guess. See you again. See you. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my D-Shu. Eh? Uh, no goodbye to me? No. Stingy. And there he goes. What were you guys talking about? Jeez, he's still thinking about that. We were talking about Y-O-U. Eh? Then that's fine. <laughs> was he 
jealous? Of course he was jealous. Why wouldn't he be jealous? It's Shu we're talking about here. Jesus. All right, so, yeah. Um, that was a fun event, wasn't it? Let's continue. All right, so we're just going to do this audition, and that will wrap up this video here. We're doing Master Cooking Shota. Shota. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> It's a person who thinks cooking is, he's ambitious and he wants to win this thing. Uh, I haven't thought of a sad. He's sad there? Yeah, he's sad. Why didn't you just make a delicious dish this morning? I thought for sure that would be the dish you presented. He's still sad there, I think, because he's saying it's not enough. Hmm? Uh, this explanation points, it's kind of sad, but I think he's angry at the fact that he's sad. So we're going to say angry? Yeah, look at me go. Kihara. Tomorrow will decide my entire life. I need to make a better recipe. Uh, neutral? Hey, look at me go. This recipe, it's still lacking something. Neutral? No, nope, damn it. Jeez, you're such a hard worker. Oh well, I guess that should... Alright, I'll help you out. Huh? No, he's shocked. Yeah, he's shocked. No, senpai, it's fine. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna be a table tester. I'm ready to fill my stomach to the max. Um... Happy? Yay! You smile is super cute. <laughs> I'm not cute. Is he shocked? No, he's not. Fuck, I'm gonna fail. Let's just continue. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I mean, we're gonna pass this. What do you mean? Fuck. See, guys, we successfully did it. You ready? It's now the 12th. We're going to the recording of uh, Cooking Master Shouta. And here it is. We got. Almost $150,000. I am rich. Look at me go. Ain't nobody want to mess with this. Look at me roll. All right, so I'm going to work to get my... Well, the next one is all good. I have everything on there, so I'm going to read up my technique. The next audition, I have everything that is required for it, and this is going to actually end this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. This was fun, having Shu take care of me. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'm planning to now do this with all the other roots as well. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Kietsobaka is gone. Goodbye.